What's that? You say Missouri won't be repeating as SEC East champs again this year? Oh, yeah, I know. I knew that going into the season. Oh, what's up, Tiger Talk? Mizzou dude, didn't see you guys sitting there. You'll have to forgive me, uh, I'm a little bit excited about my win over Missouri last night. First time the Vols have been able to do that since Missouri come into the league. Well, hell, since ever. And, of course, the Missouri fans let us know that going into the game that the Vols had never beaten Missouri in football. Thank you guys for that bit of information that we were clueless about. Uh, but you can stick that one where the sun don't shine anymore. Put it up there where it's cold. Yeah, there was a couple of Tennessee fans actually worried about this game. A couple of my buddies. Uh, concerned because, you know, it's an emotional... It was an emotional night. For Gary Pinkle and, you know, Senior Night and all that. And I think I even mentioned in my pregame video that, uh, you know, it would be an emotional night. and Missouri would be fired up and, you know, it might be a tough game for the balls. Shouldn't be a tough game for the balls. And it wasn't. Got a little bit hairy there in the second half when Missouri finally put a drive together. But, uh, I mean, come on guys, let's face it. Gary Pinkle was working with garbage on his last home game, and that sucks for him because he deserved better. He deserved to be carried off the field in victorious fashion, not as a loser. So way to go, Missouri. Way to treat your legendary potential Hall of Fame coach like a piece of shit on his last damn game. Nice job, Zoo Crew. You know, I, I feel bad today as a Tennessee Vols fan knowing that my boys came up there and ruined your little party. But, it's a win, so I guess I'll go ahead and accept it and enjoy it and look forward to playing you guys next year down here in the big sanctuary that is Neyland Stadium. Get our first win over you at home. Because everybody knows Tennessee's winning the SEC East next year and they're going to kick the shit out of Alabama in the SEC championship game next year. Next year, 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 next year. Vandy, we're going to kick your ass next week. So get ready for it. That's right. We're going to whoop that ass. Then we're going to go to some shitty bowl, which will probably be a little bit better than last year's shitty bowl, but hey, at least it's a bowl, right? It's what you do this time of year. You get those extra weeks of practice, and then we'll kick the shit out of some Big Ten team or maybe some ACC team. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, the concentration is on Vandy. Come on down, Vandy. Get your annual ass whooping. We'll see you guys in a few days when I make a video for you. Missouri, sorry. You know, I hate to be the one to ruin Gary Pinkle's big day. I, I honestly do. I mean, I'm not, I'm not being funny. I really hated that Tennessee had to do that to such a nice guy and such a great coach. He's been wonderful for the Missouri program, but, you know, fuck him. He beat us three years in a row, so he had an ass whooping coming. I hope he kicks lymphoma's ass. Eric Berry did, so Gary Pinkle, I got faith in you, brother. You can beat this. All joking aside, you can beat this. We'll be pulling for you. I will be pulling for you. Because I hate to see bad things happen to good people. And Gary Pinkle is no doubt a good man. And has been great for the Missouri program. So as I leave you in this video, Gary Pinkle, get well, my friend. To all the Missouri fans, sorry it was us. And uh, go Vols, screw y'alls.